They're bringing life into inhospitable terrain. A forest has sprung up here miraculously at Ismailia, a two hours drive from Cairo. Today, workers are planting young pine trees. The forest is a research collaboration between Egyptian and German scientists. On the one hand, you have the advantage over places like Germany that there's no winter here that could interrupt growth. On the other hand, we have some very fast-growing species available locally, like eucalyptus. So, all together, we have some very impressive growth. Provided, of course, there's enough water. In Egypt, it doesn't often fall from the sky, so it needs to be pumped to the trees. Hani al Khatib is one of the creative minds behind the project. The Egyptian-born forestry scientist works at Munich's Technical University. He goes back to Egypt several times a year to keep tabs on the project. These are the irrigation hose pipes. Without them, all the trees would die. The water comes from the nearby sewage treatment plant. Using mechanical and biological processes, it cleans the wastewater from Ismailia. Total purification would cost a lot more. This way, some nitrogen compounds like nitrates remain in the water. In fact, they're the perfect fertilizer for trees. But some toxins may remain. The concentration of heavy metals is extremely low because this is urban sewage and not industrial sewage. In some other areas, there's a mix of urban and industrial sewage, which is harder to treat than purely urban sewage. So the water isn't clean enough to irrigate edible plants, but it's certainly sufficient for building or firewood. In addition, the forest protects against sand drifts and generates jobs badly needed in rural areas and it stores climate-damaging CO2 emissions. Egypt does not have a functioning forestry authority. Less than 0.1 percent of the country is wooded. These scientists hope to change that. They've organized training sessions for Egyptian forestry workers. But the new expertise isn't always being implemented. This tree was cut by workers here, forestry workers. But they cut it wrong. These are bad examples. And perhaps they didn't use good seed material. The management has to improve that. We offer training here for the workers so they know how best to cut the trees. Hani al Khatib says he has a lot of persuading to do in the capital. The people in charge in Cairo are only just beginning to realize the potential that lies in their desert, which after all covers 97 percent of the country's area. Fertile land is becoming increasingly scarce in Egypt due to rapid population growth. Supplying that population with water is becoming more and more challenging. We are under a lot of pressure at the moment. Ethiopia wants to build another dam in the Nile. For us, that would mean less water arriving in Egypt. We need to find new ways to save or recycle water. And these forests are an excellent example of the types of things you can do with recycled water. The German government supports the German-Egyptian research project with a 260,000 euro grant. That also pays for a student exchange program. The forest project is still kept afloat mainly through state financing. But Hani al Khatib believes the desert forest could be an economic powerhouse in its own right. It needs to be worthwhile to continue afforestation to make it economically viable. Otherwise, we can't achieve sustainability here. And that's why we're also planting valuable wood here. We're improving the forestry management to achieve those goals. Many questions need to be explored. Which types of trees are the most suited to the environment? 
and what's the most effective irrigation system. But one thing is already clear. Thanks to the intense sunlight and the many nutrients in the wastewater, trees here grow four times faster than in Germany. 4,2. 4,6. 5,2. The German students are impressed. Look around, everything here was desert. It's astonishing that you can really create a population of trees in the desert. There are many regions with similar social and climatic conditions. This really has the potential to be an exemplary project for other regions. 240 hectares have been reclaimed from the desert. And it may be just the beginning. In the upcoming years, more than 500,000 hectares of desert sand could be planted with these phenomenal forests.